That's a smart idea. The role of asthma for the very best form of the methodology of axiology pursues the axiomatic principle of non-regression with the RBT. The axiology approach is the only non-RBT approach arrived at the beginning of axiology. All these stuff in the nature of RBT plus the axiomatic can settle on the human nature. It's too very different to determine the consent of common sense. Actual system of rational design is the reason or critical normative laws of human conduct. The axiology approach solves the problem of axiomatic principle. The human nature of axiomatic principle serves the entire point of the axiomatic principle. The axiomatic principle is valid. It is supposed to be settled on argument. One cannot make an argument. One cannot make an argument. This fact is very recalled. The average is cost question of passive learning. The constitution of relevant years away. The constitution of relevant years away. Whether any constitution of relevant years away. The 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 constitution of we have agents or opposition language expression the harmony in reality space based conversation is meaningful in your own identity moral depends on what is common to recognize your social community social media is a crazy identity of social discourse the narrative speaks into our identity moral vision only meaning with your social context the dialogue is a user group dialogue is a person who is not 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 a Yeah. 
Jesus is not necessary to join your progress. Then you will all yell. This procedure was received by the police department. This is holding their team. Also, the rule. They are treated as a receiver. How do I get to the end? That's your first one. Because Hajar Patton was here. They break all of the party. They break all the party. They break 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 the party. They the next one is the next one. We're not contesting our role now, which is both the most desirable policy. I've seen eight parents alter from smooth six months to one year. It's only based on five thousand dollars of forces to restart in one year. Six seven seven four six times. First time was under harm. Today we have become a just our options on education. That's job because she just only care about having a bad time. Our past role and our decision making. I think we should be able to develop our ability to have a comfortable level of action. We only care about the affordable skill that we have. We should be able to policy action. I think only if the alter the one that can assess the area that people have policy action. See consider policy conditions. See the facts. See the one. See no exception. See the rule. 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 With theory, but if the one policy which are considered false in theory, the power of covers are on power of comes on the tension policy related by the theories and clear out of the can create reality where the theories are not part of it without a real person. Something that matters, reps can't get that. 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 Reps can't Police can. Research is becoming increasingly an increasing important tool for those working at the Committee State Federal and Sheriff's Office to overcome obstacles and impeding a direct kind of public security. It's trying to inform policy, uh, advocacy, and policy analysis that has determined that's not already offered in terms of contributing to solution of the problem of social and policy for the department of policy. I think public interest is not as working to be increasingly restricted. This is just a study where we're going to see increased all our activities on the app. This really can be improved against the strong public engagement of consequences or against all our activities, integration, and the police at court act. We're going to use it as an advocacy policy, making policy with those that are for us to have an opportunity for us all to actually advocate to provide innovative. Or you should discuss what actually pulls that thing. That was the box here. Come to the card box here. Ready? Yeah. Uh. What is uh, unstable politics? Sure. Uh, we argue that unstable politics is like when people have the right to engage in discourse through the right to us uh, or the right to express their free will. They are able to uh, argue things of uh, argue things that they are passionate about. They are able to uh, imagine alternative okay. futures in which they can part and uh, which can bring people into politics. Advocacy. You say you defend the resolution as a general principle, but you can specify uh, what does it mean. You can specify. Um, you said if you want to defend something different, we will. Okay, uh, I want you to defend that you only allow uh, free speech for people spouting racist rants in the midst of a hate crime. So you don't get to specify it. the uh, roll the ballot arguments. You have two things you call a roll the ballot. Mm -hmm. The first at the top and the second at the top of the underview. Mm -hmm. Which one is like the more? So we would argue that, okay, so I guess we would argue that the paradigm in which you evaluate a roll the ballot should be one of policy making. So the way you should frame this round is that policy making should come first in when you evaluate between reps and policy making, but then we should evaluate what theory policy makers should use. Okay. As uh, your advocacy text says you defend the resolution as a general principle. What about kind of policy making? Uh, what, what about the resolution as a general principle? The, the resolution is not mentioning a policy. What policy? You said general yeah. principle. Yeah. So you should fiat that in any hypothetical world the app happens? Uh, yes, but let's, let me make that clear. We will defend implementation to actually legislate like this step, for example, but that's not relevant with the act after per se. You can see that we also argue that uh, philosophers, are like that, that, for example, that uh, the government can act in a philosophical way as well. Okay. Uh, the uh, framework of the app, will the 1AR say speech is good, vote app? Uh, like, as in, like, I read this app, vote for me? Uh, will the 1AR be like, well, you have to have speech to talk about stuff, vote app? Uh, I don't know what that means, but, like, I'm not trying to be sketchy, but I'm not going to be like, I read this app, so I'm going to win. Okay, sounds a little bit sketchy. The uh, <laughs> uh, consequences don't matter stuff, you say there are an infinite number of ends take place why are there not an infinite number of wills? Do you mean so like as an agent I kinda wanna go downstairs as an agent because I'm tired and I want to go home for like maybe I'm hungry. As an agent when I act upon something I I pursue a means to acquire an end that means it's always gonna be stable because that's what I intend to do. Wait, but why? The that if I want to go downstairs and it's both because I'm hungry and because of something else, why is that a single stable means? Right, because you will will to go to downstairs because you are hungry or you will go downstairs because you are doing something. Yeah. There are independent actions uh, because of different needs. Okay. Uh, 
the uh, reps case bad card says there's a distinction between images and uh, like is this the algorithm? I'm curious as to what images are. Uh, is this is this the HM14 evidence? Mm -hmm. Uh, the shift 14 evidence indicates that, like, uh, it's, it's saying that when you evaluate representations, you shouldn't evaluate them as whole general theories, but rather particular, uh, particular to how these representations are deployed and how they affect the real world and consequences. So you shouldn't just be like, oh, the app is a bad idea because something happened, but rather the app is a bad idea based on what the app advocates and what happens and why that is bad. The order will be one on case. I'm going to say, 
kind of nice, maybe, but it conceals much worse kinds of evils and increases the whole okay. capitalism. Um, can the alt result in the app? No. Will free speech be in the world of the alt? Uh, I mean, the alt doesn't say ban everyone from speaking. Right, but will the, will the First Amendment be effective? Well, the First the Amendment exists in okay. the world of the alternative, but we don't do the policy of the app. Okay. Like, the world doesn't disappear in the world of the alt. Are there any reasons why we can't win the outcomes of the uh, so the framework argument is that we should test the scholarship of the app. So it's a question of the sort of like ideas behind the affirmative. So if you were like, the app's all distinction, you would not be able to weigh that. But you're perfectly able to weigh like the reps of the app, like policy making good or like whatever else. <laughs> After critique? Yeah, we're going to start off with uh, the uh, the framework arguments in the app. Like, I don't know where you flow the three arguments about like these are bad and the equals and stuff. Uh, that will be all put together. And then we're going to go to the underview of the app and the critique proper. All right, I'm good. Session of the trust should have is different. It means that we mean that we should we mean that we should prefer our interpretation of an ideal theory. We don't we don't argue that ideal theory takes a while or takes out material conditions, but rather we need to understand why uh, why certain conditions like oppression are bad here. Are we are we not justifying oppression? Rather we are saying that, that it's part that's much high justified oppression. The causes that we do not explain why uh, we do not explain why uh, things are so things why implementing consequences are bad. It's obviously because there's a norm and ethic behind why certain uh, why we consider the consequences of action. We argue that discourse is the way we do that. I.e. I, that uh, oppression can only count that in order to address oppression, we need to know what oppression is. Otherwise, we're currently we're the argument against the solution of permission, uh, which means that uh, which means ideal theories never less chance to have it. There are two impasses. A, we don't believe the process justification rule by the person to win using the rule. I, there are arbitrary ways to justify what is good or bad, what is a bad certain moral calculus. We don't understand what to use the first deal that you should be called the after of uh, intense for the viewpoints that the only way to convince people that, uh, or, that, or that's the only way for your to convince people that's the only logical solution that we can be, even if you vote for this, it's not reason for you to vote. It's rather you just reject her for the uh, rolled out of the uh, rolled out of the critique uh, on the underview. The other view are the other arguments. You see, the other cover are the policy making arguments. Our policy making arguments indicate that yes, even if we consider that policy implications are key to the uh, you guys indicate that social policy is created. It's much better always be repressed by the head to monitor that they're all these flaws in theory. We always have to 
have concrete changes in order to solve it, and your fever evidence was not responsive. It's not pushing the ideal theory of the false or the false, but rather just I know this question about whether or not we uh, was uh, was I was I I know I I know alternative like the alley or the like the alternative are always gonna be bad. Now you're uh, not the conceptuality. You also you also know I was talking to shit evidence really well. You say that the best question about the reps are, but we argue that uh, reps are something uh, reps are something conscious how we present them. We argue that we not we not see, we not delineate free speech as uh, we not delineate free speech as a commodity or a reason why it, why it's bad. But therefore you should let us wait. Uh, uh, the, uh, the policy we can't review. You should not critique our rest about how it, it's implemented in the real world. We should, you, should let, uh, you should let us wait. Post you had, uh, uh, the post you had, uh, the post you had, uh, sorry, the post you had, uh, uh, and make sure that you Also, uh, we should let us wait while our parents and realize it. Uh, we're just switching the one you see. Also, it's not for nice to, uh, we're just essentially uh, inhibiting some forces to let go of all rest. We start in the one year, which is extremely abusive, which means uh, we should allow us to, uh, we should allow us to wait a few things. Yeah, no, the, not the app offense. Now, you uh, go to the back to the new rooms and the, the, the app is not solving the new rooms. No, no, it's not a question. You value the integrity because the sequencing is. You, the fact that the fact that speech codes are in place right now means that uh, means that the active that the acting is a hell of a neoliberal stronghold. The fact that professors cannot write about certain things because speech codes are in place. The First Amendment is not being protected at the university, but the app allows for that to happen, which means that all your written past the critique are because the app is not in place. The app's entire free roasting degree, which is which is the interpretation, because that allows for the free discourse and revolution you're talking about to occur now. Uh, the free discourse and revolution you're talking about to occur now. The uh, critique proper now. You see that uh, now that which, now you see that uh, free speech is fine. Now, first of all, you're all you're all trying to limit You see that. We like we speak discourse and uh, free speeches and revolutions and is being threatened in order to uh, revolt revolt against the revolt against neoliberalism, which means you limit your own because you use that as a commodity to fight against neoliberalism. Now the second argument is that uh, you the second argument is we don't say property rights are an inherent strategy, rather we say that property rights are one assumes that one that one's ownership is that one ownership of agency, not one ownership of one's body, i.e. that our ability to express really is not a, a sort of property right. Now you see that which means that your commodity limits as well, which is not a question about free speech being a commodity, it's rather it's a free speech to be a uh, uh, it's rather to my uh, uh, liberty to do that, which means that it's not, it's not a crime. Now, your free speech illusion is going to be the core part of the end strategy here, but you should not let them go for that. You say that it's an illusion for pure empirical evidence instead here. The fact that the, 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 the fact that the students at like UC colleges are able to protest uh, against the neoliberal against the liberal means that they, they are not being co opted. They are able to protest and make actual changes against tuition hikes. It means that they are able to uh, prevent the problem for a sort of broad. It means that the uh, that his philosophers are arguing that's not uh, dictating what happens in the real world. It passed back to your own evidence. Nothing for about evidence. You say that that practice is not working. No, I just think that practice works, which is that they're not taking it. Uh, now, alternative now, uh, first permutation the after uh, is the alternative. You see that we must revolt and that the student and student votes to be required for each speech under a soul that is quotes from the alternative, which means that we are the alternative, which means permutation of the app is the absolute alternative. Now, that benefits that we saw other sorts of uh, other sorts of harms, such as race, uh, racism, that's not uh, under neoliberalism. Because neoliberalism is simply to this we cannot argue against certain things, but uh, racism are going to pass their occur other ways, but there's always going to be that benefit. Yeah. Uh, like all the UC systems have been, are having tuition strikes right now, strike tuition hikes right now, and uh, there were there were protests that then done to uh, lower is the tuition. Tuition lower? Huh? Is the tuition I believe lower? so.
Uh, it'll be the case with an overview that you can flow on the like framing, like the underview argument where it's like the theory stuff. Uh, then the turns, then So you that okay. Underview turns. You kick the framework of the TD last argument of the implication of the instruction evidence says you will uh oh, there's a reason to drop the framework, but it uh oh, it's easy to use to have to overlay so often with the app, but you can see why you don't get to that you don't get to weigh the app or you're losing you don't get to weigh the app, which uh oh, which means that you don't get to weigh that means you can literally no offense for you could uh have the worst for both negative presumption. It's just a question of scholarship, uh of the framework arguments so you can see that new apps outweighs all of your offense, but people test new apps in it, even if it is slightly harder for you uh, to affirm under our argument, it's literally impossible for us to negate under uh yours because we uh, would never be able to check the small app because they are both in a decision to be negative. Any sort of generic, the only argument you said is that boots exist in the what is the offense you can see to be able to weigh your reps all uh, under our interest with you. I don't have offense, you don't get to weigh any of the passage of plan. It is just a question of scholarship. The app level, no reason to the scholarship or the uh, of the app is good, just reasons why it would allow for free speech, but you don't get to weigh those because you don't get access to them. But uh, just in case you say the sequencing question, uh, well, no, uh, our argument is that it will argue about on the lens is not a question of uh, just not being able to speak is the problem, uh, which we'll get to on the critique, but it's terms. 
The boot evidence and the Isaac evidence are straight conceded. They're both voting issues. Oh, you conceded that it's only a question of the scholarship and the app, which means uh, uh, if we prove that your scholarship is bad, you should uh, lose it to me. The, the boot evidence says that you focus on only intent. Uh, the vote to force our ability to uh, stop any kind of race or oppression in the real world. The just uh, notice extended it says, oh, we need to understand what oppression is. Our argument directly answers that. It says that no, uh, we understand what oppression is. And even uh, if we have a resource, uh, a sort of the intuitive uh, uh, question, the, the starting point of the app takes to still be wrong, one, which means uh, we don't, uh, the, 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 the first thing uh, that is your do not be how to define oppression, but how to stop it. The oot says uh, they take the wrong, they, they take the wrong, the, the wrong method, and uh, uh, to do so is racist. The Isaac evidence indicates that uh, moral television that saying explicitly uh, only one thing is good, uh, uh, is uniquely bad because it uh, 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 justifies uh, uh, those sort of bad things. And Lucifer is going to say, oh, well, you say only cap is bad, but our argument uh, is not that cap is uh, sort of uh, monolithically the worst thing ever. Our argument is that it causes terrible things, uh, which is why we should uh, uh, avoid it. Your arguments are, are not, not about causing terrible things; they're instead about sort of assertions. Uh, uh, about what is good and bad in the abstract, which justifies a, a certain what is a, a, what who are good and bad, or what is good and bad about what we should do to people, which justifies evil, which is what the other evidence is in the Okay. The links to the K are poorly handled. You don't know, you know, you all of your arguments assume uh, you get passage of the land, but even if they don't, they are still pretty bad arguments. The uh, property rights, like your argument is, that, oh, we don't care about property rights. There's a question of uh, uh, our sort of like uh, rights to exercise our liberty. No, uh, check the title with the third or fourth Candela evidence. It explicitly says that we need property or the ability to control of our bodies. Our argument is that concept of property rights, how individual ownership is good, uh, is still unique to that. You've also conceded the link those made on case that says that you're focused on sort of individual politics and individual being to be able to speak out to work. Short class politics, please, even if we win none of the cards, they're still uh, a battle. Like the brown evidence is uh, conceded. It says that the reason that, it, it, that they right now that uh, there are problems with the academy is not because of uh, the first amendment problems, it's because uh, the academy is structured in such a way where we oh, the only thing we care about is uh, things that are prefigured by capitalism, which means that it's not a question of having first amendment protections. You can speak all you want, no one will care because capitalism, we only prioritize uh, uh, the things we want to hear. The uh, Smith evidence is uh, uh, the warning is conceded. It means that this sort of uh, mode of only caring about it. What people say is that as it does, to go to commodities justifies uh, not ever caring about what they uh, think. This means that one, your protesters you can't solve because no one cares what individual protesters think. Even uh, if you can cite any single empirical example, which I don't think is true uh, about, about a few is going down, it uh, doesn't matter because it is not so any sort of a broader spill over effect. Protests uh, are a ruse. They are reactive form of politics. It focuses purely on African seeds, quality, institutional politics, tricky. Uh, 15 million to Marxism, Brock Morty goes up, and it's led resistance from the around these places with failure. Uh, the military is a cycle tax on uh, elected virtual. What other harms do you solve? The 
only thing you built for in the last speech is uh, that you resolve capitalism. And that is not the case. The uh, alternative, the, the permutation uh, uh, does not solve anything. First of all, the uh, alt solves the case. It allows us to have discourse outside of capitalism to resolve this myth that means they're no longer just commodified speech, which means the uh, uh, only way to, uh, to do that. All of the links are disadds uh, uh, to, to the permutation because it justifies you only focusing on single, uh, a single issue. Also, uh, all of your sort of protest arguments are new links which justify uh, the acting actively bad, which means that uh, resulting protest turns result. Uh, there's going to be an overview on the interview, and then an sure. overview on the critique, and then uh, the critique proper. Um, sorry, uh, can you repeat that? Yeah, okay. It's going to be an interview first, and then an overview on the critique <coughs> proper. One argument for the why they fail, why I can't wait, you have to see that's the fairest argument. We have, but both the arguments by arguments all CC, which we both have like, that 100% struggling. So you should return to our argument, those debate with your resolve on what you should use. So here, for this week, the fact that you, when we only have 60 when you move 60 months, you cause structural abuse, which I can have regard from whether when you were whenever you have these three dissents that have no uh, shitty links, that means that you, you can still substantially recover from You can structurally get to the app, therefore, uh, you should, uh, therefore, it's impossible for the app to win around when they're case right, but uh, when they're out when they win case right, but you have to reach out and win around when they get 13 cents, whereas you can always hear arguments, even if they have worse links. The worst quality of ground, at least you'll make up and so we'll off generics, which is the reason why you should let us uh, let us run okay, not only the issue on the role of value, but we will we'll see your role about the role that we should uh the we'll see your role about the debate capitalism of the first means that your role is just your role just your class of underlying assumptions of the uh about why about you about new comes through which means that if this is true that you're the very start means you don't make any sense, but you should value whether the app is able to solve for the plan first, uh solve for more new lows and more within the race arguments, which is that and that's gonna come first when your evaluation uh they come for your evaluation, but if we go over two arguments on the the first argument is that uh, the first argument is the sequence the argument. The second argument is the app, the alternative. There are a couple problems with the uh, two and all. The first one is you read your protest evidence, but your alternative is exactly what you're, what you're critiquing. The fact is that there's so many double, there's so many double turns in the two and all. It's impossible to resolve the uh, alternative. If you don't understand the alternative, you don't do any work for evidence. The fact that evidence is not explained, the alternative does is that. Social policies that resist capitalism mean that they are inherently protest against the neoliberal elite or the fact there's some sort of radical revolution. But if you uh, double turn yourself by saying that protests are bad, which means that uh, this is obviously not, that we always makes the debate irresolvable. So you don't know what, uh, what sort of protests you have talking about, which means you prefer the aspects that incrementalism is good. Now, the thesis of capitalism to me comes to, comes to the fact that whether incrementalism is large scale social change or not, you have to the reason why incrementalism solves and why uh, large why incrementalism is key to large scale social change is the fact that the alternative is not going to occur in one instance, but rather the act is the alternative. The fact that we need, uh, we need free speech in order to take it. You said that uh, neoliberal academia already controls us and it, uh, it's caused commodified free speech. That, that is not the case because uh, uh, it's because that uh, we are able to see, for example, the UC Berkeley protest for uh, tuition rates. They said the labor and Robert Wright was one of those protesters, but the fact that he, he protested, but then faced severe criticism from, from other people meant that uh, he, was, he was still able to protest, but the first amendment rights were not protected. But when the collective, the only collective was able to protest and come together, that is enough to participate in politics. Your far right evidence is not taken out. I think it's the opposite social movement as well. We are not. Uh, Social revolution. 
Even if free speech is a bad thing, it is the only way the, new, the FTP will allow us to speak out against neoliberalism, which is the only reason the app comes before the alternative. You should vote, you should vote app just because it, it is the only way for us to stop capitalism. Oh, uh, do the other two judges mind if I leave the live stream on during the argument? Uh, I would not show this. <laughs>
is the Can I see the old card? Uh, can, I see, can I also see the brown evidence and the protests bad evidence from the two nine?
All right, uh, we're in. Let me just turn this. Congratulations to both debaters for reaching the quarterfinal round of the CPS Invitational. The decision was a 3-0 for the negative from Harvard Wesley. Um, uh, first of all, it was a really good debate. I was very impressed by uh, both the two and the two in particular. Um, so uh, basically, it came down to uh, like, so obviously the debate was the question of whether the alternative is a better or a more effective political strategy against capitalism than an alternative. Um, there are three links. The first is this argument on the case that, um, you know, the focus on individual abilities of like speaking out um, detracts focus on larger mass movements against capitalism. Um, and I think the way that Toyar explains uh, the absolvency largely gets out of this. The argument is, so like the way he explained it was that it enables the collective to protest as a group uh, and gives the example of the UC Berkeley tuition protests. Um, and I think uh, that largely answers this link, especially because of how um, briefly it was extend extended in the 2 r uh, The next link is this property rights argument, and that is completely conceded uh, in the 2 r um, And I think it's a pretty persuasive link because it um, it sort of commits the app um, to the ideology, ideology of capitalism in um, a very like definite way. It is like the app is libertarianism, which is pretty much you know, as neoliberal a capitalist as you can get. Um, the third link is this protest bad argument, and this is the argument the affirmative uses in the Toyar to respond to the alternative, um, arguing that uh, the alternative is also uh, a strategy of protests. And um, the evidence for this protest bad argument, um, I think, does in fact critique something similar to what your alternative does, or at least what the alternative card is that uh, we just have these like mass movements and they don't really articulate clear demands. So um, like that's the reason they fail. And I can see this card being read as a alt fails card on capitalism as well. So I think you should be careful with reading that as like a protest bad card as a link in the 2 r um, That being said, I think that the way the affirmative, that the negative uh, frames the alternative in the 2 r um, helps escape this argument. So the alternative is uh, some specific lines of the alternative or that um, it includes specific policies for class revolt. Now, uh, although it's kind of vague what those policies are, that does seem like a you know end goal of the um, the politics of the alternative. So um, I think this uh, criticism probably applies more to the affirmative than it does to the negative, uh, which means the alternative alone solves better than the affirmative, considering that uh, the alternative alone is, does not uh, include an ideological commitment to property rights. Um, a couple other things I'll say is that uh, I think that link turning capitalism in the 1AR was absolutely the wrong move. Um, I think the 1AR is like, um, I was pretty confident you were just going to like go for the capitalism impact turn. Um, there's one capitalism impact in the two, in the 1NC. Um, the entire affirmative framework justifies capitalism. Like the whole framework is is like from like the, you know, Mises Institute, um, like Hans Hermann Hoff, like Cotter, that's all, you know, neoliberalism is good, property rights all the way, free markets. Um, so I think the right approach would have just been to uh, impact turn capitalism uh, from like two angles. The first being the affirmative framework that's like property rights are in fact like morally valuable and the alternative is immoral because it would abrogate property rights. And then the second being your more standard like policy-esque um, capitalism, it solves inequality, capitalism sustainable, capitalism better for the environment, all fails. Um, and you, could, you should have just read like a slew of cards, um, and I think that would have put you in a much better position for uh, the two AR than your assert your one this one AR choice did. Although I think it was a, uh, a pretty good recovery in the two AR. I think the two AR sort of shoots itself in the foot with the reference for the protest card because your only net benefit to the permutation is that you allow for protest. So either protest is ineffective, in which case there's a huge salty deficit to the alt, and you don't act as really net benefit to the perm. And they're conceded other links, so the, so the K is probably preferable to the app. Or protest is effective, at which point they're conceded other links, links are a disadvantage to the firm, and they all would solve anyway. So I think that you should be careful with that, because if it, as far as it conflicted pretty strongly there, uh, it makes it hard to see that there's a compelling benefit to the app in either case, uh, you sort of lose. Uh, I think that otherwise, what Arjun, other than what Arjun said, I think that. So more weighing could have brought a lot of clarity to this debate, i.e. why the property rights link is maybe more important. Maybe that, for some reason, their ideology of resistance is rooted in capitalist justification. So even if some protests can work, their form of protest will never work. 
maybe you know extending the arguments off the app that says, sure, like they have a, a ideal theory or something they're protesting the name of, but the problem is they are protesting for something oppressive, which means there is no reason to vote for the affirmative, even if they get their protest, it will always make oppression worse because of the arguments on the AC framework. So I think there were a lot of missed opportunities by the Meg that made this round much closer than it needed to be. Like straight up, I think that Evan, you should have said that to win the permutation, the app has to be a good idea. If I went on case, like his philosophy and his method for resistance is rooted in oppression and can never solve, you can obviously just never affirm. Even if the alternative has no chance of solving without the app, the app's already worse than that. Uh, so I don't know if I explained that perfectly, but I definitely think there was a way to exploit those arguments a lot better. Uh, and other than that, I think that potentially you're behind on the theory debate on case. I don't look to it. I think that he made Wang in the NC. I, I don't. It was on my blow, but I, re I think I remember his name. I, thankfully, I didn't have to resolve it because I thought that he lost in the K debate itself. And I think he did respond to your argument in the NR about being able to restart. So there was a clash that was not necessarily on the line by line of your extension in the one AR but it was an argument that was responsive to it in his extension. So I think that if you lose that, you just can't win, because the only thing that you can win on is that the actual alternative, there's some sort of tangible benefit. Finally, I think that the app is probably not the alt. There's some slight distinction there, because the alternative says that there's really just a priority problem with things like trigger warnings. The alt doesn't necessarily say that they're bad, it just says we shouldn't focus on them. Uh, and I also think that there's some arguments at the end of the alternative that the alternative's form of tolerance is we cannot tolerate some things, which seems to be distinct from the app. It's form of tolerance, it's not liberal tolerance, tolerating everything, but liberating tolerance in that some things are intolerable. So that seems to be a little bit distinct from the affirmative, if I were to evaluate that, that permutation. Yeah, I agree. Um, on the underview, I feel like it was kind of a waste of time for you. I mean, I think you either need to go for it harder in the two-way or like, just let it be. Um, because you just spent time there that didn't anything obviously you all loaded on the A. So I think the round breaks down for me in a much similar way. I don't think that the all is the app. I think there are some pretty strong links that just don't end up anywhere in the two AR um, or in the one AR for that matter. And so I don't know why I would do the firm that it's like nebulous apps that I don't think you get access to when I could just do the all and seems like a sidestep level of problems. But yeah, well done. I have a question. Um, for the reason that like I, the property rights link was conceded. Um, why was that a reason to take out the prerequisite argument? I'm so unclear about that. Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question?